This is gonna be day one of the Bones Challenge. And if you have a little device that you track, I have an Apple Watch. Uh, you can either click on, <clears throat> let's see, indoor walk or indoor run. So I'm gonna do that now. <clears throat> so we do a little bit more beginner, healthy bounce. So you're just gonna, but I want you to be conscious of how you're gonna move your arms. You're gonna move your arms. So when I move my arms, this is gonna warm me up a little bit by moving your arms. So we're gonna warm up this way. I'm gonna bring my arms around a little bit like this. Move them around. That's gonna get your um, device to pick up the steps. Barely coming up. And with these videos, I'm gonna add different things, um, get you used to the kind of bouncing that I like to do. I like to use lots of different muscles. So what we're gonna do is right here, now that you've kind of warmed up here, all you're gonna do, I'm gonna turn sideways a little bit so you can see. As I'm rolling like this, I'm gonna pick up the back knee. You don't have to pick it up high. These will be about 20 minutes. Kind of roll it. That'll get you used to moving your arms. If you're not moving your arms enough, your Fitbit, Apple Watch, whatever you use won't pick it up. So you're just tapping it. I'm just tapping that foot. You want to turn this way? That's okay too. Keep tapping it. Now I'm going to come toward the front. I'm still tapping. Keep tapping. Now we're going to take your other foot. I'm going to turn this that way. And it's going to be tapping. We're still moving the arms like this. It's like you're rowing up and down, but you're bringing them up and down. Roll them around. Getting into the warm up part, we're just warming it up. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Getting those muscles ready to work. We're almost there with this part. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna alternate your knee. And we're still gonna use that same pattern. Watch. We're still warming up a little bit. I move my arms. That just tells you, reminds you, I should say, to move your arms. I'm just bringing, barely bringing those knees up. <clears throat> I still feel the mat on my feet. <clears throat> Think of how good it feels to bounce. Bouncing is amazing. Well, you can have your hands out like that instead of a little tiny fist. About 20 more seconds. <clears throat> now, now what we're gonna do is you're gonna come over to one side and it'll be your right side. <clears throat> You're bouncing. I'm gonna take my left foot and bring it forward and back. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go on my heel. You don't have to do the heel, you can do this. Forward and back. The other foot stays right where it's at, or heel. Now, my arms will go up and down. So the heel 
If I come forward with my heel, that's going to work your muscles a little harder versus back and forth. Maybe you can't see it. <clears throat> Arms up and down if you're doing bicep. But I'm gonna, I lift my toe up. The toes come up. <clears throat> so we're going to bounce for 20 minutes. Up and down with arms. I always make sure I'm moving my arms. When you're moving your arms, your heart rate's going to get higher. If I bring them up over the head, they go up even higher. Couple more. Foot forward and back or heel. Now, I'm going to keep my heel up in front. And I'm just going to tap the heel down towards the front. Or you can keep it flat. I, I lift my toes up. See how I'm moving my arms? Alternating them. Get used to using your arms when you're bouncing. If you can't do that, you can still do the row. That might even be easier. Let's just row it. If you try and do this at the same time, it can get a little discouraging. There's no set way that you have to use your arms. Now, you're gonna feel it more on your right leg. So what we're gonna do now is the opposite, the opposite. So it's going to be taking um, the right foot forward. You can either come forward, see how I move my arms, like I'm doing biceps. So your left foot is not moving. <clears throat> You're just pushing off the mat. Now I'm gonna have my heel come up. This is pretty close to a healthy bounce right here. My feet are not leaving the mat. And you can get a great workout. Or in the back. Got it. About 20 more seconds of this. Now, now I keep it. We're gonna do a little row. I have that foot. You're gonna feel it mostly on the left because it's like a one-legged bounce. And if you're not used to that, um, you can keep that foot down. Instead of having, I'm just giving options if you're a little bit more advanced at bouncing. We're all at different levels. Okay, now we're gonna do a little running man, but let's first do a little lateral movement. That's what sets bouncing apart from running. Running is forward and back no lateral. So lateral is you're going side to side. So let's just move our arms. See how you move your arm just a little different? Now I'm bringing my legs with me, but I'm moving my arms. But I'm turning my feet, I shouldn't be. But that doesn't matter. Back and forth. Back and forth. So we're going back and forth. Now, a little bit more of this. I keep my feet forward. I'm not twisting my lower body at all. Now I'm changing it a little bit. So since I'm changing it, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come over to the right, and I'm gonna push my arms to the right as my feet go to the left. Little go. That's gonna work your core a little bit more. More core. Core is amazing. That's your powerhouse. You want to keep that nice and strong. 
back and forth. Yeah. I got my first mile on. So we should get two miles on this. So um, it's going at a pretty good clip. A few more seconds this way. Now, I come over to the left. So I'm on the left, and when I, my body goes over to the right, my hands will go to the left, like this. So your body is forward, your legs go to the right, arms to the left. And you can keep it pretty low. You don't have to go super high. We're already halfway done, side to side. <clears throat> and this confuses some people um, doing the opposite. Don't um, get caught up into, oh, I'm not doing it right. Just keep the bounce going. That's the whole principle of this is to keep moving. Now, I'm gonna do it together. So, if I come over a little bit, I'll stay in the center, but I'm gonna bring my hands first over to the right as my body goes to the left and vice versa. So it'll be like this. So you're actually, feet are forward, turning your body a little bit. Opposite, see? My body goes opposite. If my arms go to the left, my body goes to the right. <clears throat> Back and forth. Get in there. We can do a two mile bounce in 20 minutes. That's amazing. Back and forth. I'm doing my videos the same as I teach a class. I don't think of what I'm gonna do, I just do it. Whatever comes to my mind, I don't plan to have. A few more. Now, I'll get back to the running man. So, what exactly is a running man? And so I'm gonna keep my arms moving as I do it. That's what's gonna help you get your steps in. If you are, if you don't have a tracking device, I suggest getting one because it's a huge motivator. So the running man is your feet go forward and back. So now forward and back. You can move your arms any way you like. Get close. Forward and back. So your arms just move with it. Now if you want to make it if your heart rate set up very high, all you're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you, is as you're running, it's like you're running. That's why they call it the running man. You're gonna bring your arms up. Move your arms. You don't even have to move them the way I move them. You can move them out. However you feel comfortable. I'm good. I'm moving my legs alternating. You want to get up a little higher, like that. Or like I said, if you feel your heart rate's up high enough, just keep them down low. Now, we are going to double it. But let's first get back into position. I'm turned a little bit so that you can see me a little bit better. So when you double it, you can have the same arm go forward, opposite. I generally, if, I, if I'm walking, I tend to alternate like this. And if my right arm goes forward, my left foot goes forward. So you do it, I like to do it opposite. Okay? So, when I come forward with the right, I'm gonna have my left forward. So you're gonna 
Really move them arms with it. I right, keep reminding, it's very, very important. Once I'm my watch, I feel that five break. Oh no, I got my 20 minutes on. Huh? Two miles it should be. Maybe a little bit more. Now if you want to go higher, you just move your arms up above your head. That's gonna make your heart rate higher. You can do it any way you want. You're cheering it up. Double it. Concentrate. Get to the end. And it'll be fun. You'll feel so good when you're done. Now, what we're going to do here is a little bit of arms. I usually don't do a lot of arms um, just because. Um, <clears throat> just because. <laughs> so, but we are going to do a little bit here. So I want them out here because we have less than five minutes. Now, yeah. So, what I'm going to do here is as I'm bouncing, I'm just going to push my arms out with my palms down. So I'm going to hold them in. Concentrate on your arms. Bring it up. Bring it up. Out. All I'm doing is a regular bounce. You don't have to come up high, and you're still going to get a good heart rate. Keep pushing it up. Keep moving up. Good to work your core and your abs. Now, I'm going to have my palms up, and I'm going to have them up um, supine, like I'm going to grip something with my hands, and I'm going to do it that way. And you can go back and forth, however, you want to do it. Now I'm just going to go up and down. See, my knees are a little bent. Your knees are always a little bent when you're bouncing. Never do it locked out. Push them out. You should try to concentrate on something when you are bouncing and not be just watching TV. Just think about how your body feels while you're bouncing. Bring them up. Almost there. Now, I'm gonna do a little circle with them. Palms up, and I'm gonna go back and forth. But you can go any way that you want. You don't have to go back and forth. I'm gonna keep my palms up. Here we go. Bring them around. You really should incorporate your arm. Bring it around. Now I'm going to go the other way. Bring them around. See, when you have your palms up, it works different muscles. Almost there. Now, what I'm going to do is push down. And that would be a little bit of triceps. And we're going to actually cool down here. So, all we're going to do here, and I'm going to go a little bit higher. Push them down. Bring your knees up a little bit more. I'm going to have a, once we get to the two mile mark, I am going to cool down. We'll just do about a minute to cool down. Bring it down. Bring it down. I call myself a professional bouncer. I love bouncing. But I love strength just as much now. Alright, let's just move your arms like we did when we started. Bounce and move them around. Okay, we got our second mile in, or I did, 
And all you're gonna do here is you're gonna go from bouncing to a march a little bit. And if you have a hard time actually bouncing, I call it bouncing and not jumping, there's a little bit of a difference. Um, what you're gonna do, march it down. You can march like this through the whole thing, but just move your arms. So I'm marching. Now I'm bring my feet up. Do a little bit of a cool down. And then um, think about doing the challenge and getting that bouncing in. So amazing for your lymphatic system. Now I'm gonna bring it in. Out. Keep an eye on the time because I don't want to be too long in the video. I can go a long time. So, in and out. Now, that's going to be it. So, all I do is end my workout if you have that type of a, a device and I'll do a little stretch here towards the back. Come over to, to the right side. And then the left. So that's the first bouncing session. I'm going to do a couple shoulder rolls. See if you can use your arms when you're bouncing, um, you're going to have more cardio gains. <laughs> 